Hey everyone, it's Buzz here, and I'm super excited to finally be doing some Zack Snyder's Justice League figures. This movie really surprised me. I didn't think it'd be as good as it is, but now we're going to do a video on it. Today we're going to be taking a look at the old Lego sets based on this movie and upgrading the minifigs there. Oh, well, if that interests you, please consider subscribing. We're nearly at 1000 subscribers and getting there would just be so awesome. So, without any delays, let's get right into the video. Even though I personally like the 2017 sets, I think there's so much that could be improved on. So, that's what we're going to do in today's video. Starting off with 76085, The Battle of Atlantis. This set is overall pretty good, but I think the Aquaman and the Parademon figures could be improved. So, those are the ones that we're going to fix. Let's get into it. And here's the future king of Atlantis. It's Aquaman. First off, I decided to add a lot more green to the torso, as Legos is very basic and just uses gold. Next up, I added dual molded arms. This just adds a lot more to the minifig. And probably the biggest change is the minifig's flesh tone, which I changed from light to medium nougat to fit Jason Momoa's likeness. Overall, Legos minifig is pretty good, but it can be better. The next minifig to fix is the Parademon, which is entirely recolored from the Lego version. The base of this minifig is a metallic dark grey and I think it looks way better than the green that Lego uses. Unfortunately, Mechabricks doesn't have the wings that the Parademon uses, so I actually used the same wings as the Wasp from the Ant-Man and the Wasp sets, just for a meme. Anyways, this minifigure uses a different kind of blaster because stud shooters are just the worst. Anyways, let's get on to the next set. So this is 76086, Nightcrawler, Tunnel Attack. You've already seen my upgrades to the Parademons, so we're only going to focus in on Batman and the Flash. So, without any delay, let's get right into these figs. And here's everyone's favourite speedster, unless you're a Quicksilver kind of guy. But anyways, here's Flash. Flash is entirely recoloured into dark red, just to fit his character more. He also comes with arm printing, which I think would be a great addition to the minifig. And here's Flash without his helmet. Overall, I think I got a pretty good likeness to Ezra Miller. What do you think? Next, we have Batman. First off, he comes with dual molded arms and legs and I decided to wrap the printing around the legs to make the minifig feel more concise. And he comes with the Batarang in gunmetal grey. Now, taking some inspiration from the Lego Batman movie, I fixed the mask. As you can see, I mixed a lot of black around the white in the eyes, if that makes sense. This is to just make the minifig feel more realistic. I fixed Lego skin tone issue where they constantly print on black and it just looks off. Anyways, let's get on to the next set. So this is 76087, The Flying Fox. This is the only set I was able to do a preview for, so here you go. Now, let's get on to the minifigs. And here's the Man of Steel. It's Superman. He's in this black suit that he shows up in in the movie. I really wish LEGO included him in this set, because the SDCC minifig is so rare. Anyways, he comes with jill molded legs and a new face print which I designed from scratch. Overall, I think I got the likeness down to Henry Cavill. What do you think? Next, we have the Amazonian Prince. It's Wonder Woman. To be completely honest, Lego's minifig is already so good. So all I really did here was add a new face print and add a star to her crown. Anyways, if there is anything else I can improve on, please tell me in the comments below. I'd love to make this minifig better. Next, we have Cyborg. To be completely honest again, Lego knocked it out of the park on this one. So I only did a few upgrades. As you can see, the hands are also silver this time. You know it's possible now to have hands in silver because of video, the new Lego theme. I also decided to remove his cannon from his right arm as personally I just don't like it. Anyways, I also designed a new helmet piece for him. Using the 2017 Iron Man helmet made Victor's defense mode. I don't exactly know what it's called, but anyways, it's when his helmet is fully up. Next. We have Batman in his tactical suit that he uses during the final fight against Steppenwolf. Again, this minifig was already basically perfect, but unlike the others, there was still a little bit more I could upgrade. This Batman comes with gel molded arms and new goggle print on his cowl. It also comes with a blaster piece that was introduced in the Overwatch wave. And finally, now we're going to take a look at Steppenwolf. And here he is, Steppenwolf. Like in the movie, this minifig is an entire redesign of the 2017 version. As you can see, I redesigned some of the armour on the torso, and I think it came out pretty well. 
Next, the face. On the face, I decided to give Stefan Wolf blue eyes, like you can see in the final battle, where he says, For Dark Side. <laughs> also got rid of all that random red Lego put on the minifig for no reason. And that's a wrap on today's video. If you enjoyed, please consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. That'd just be awesome. With that being said, I'm very excited to announce my next project. And drumroll. That's right, my next video will be based on Luigi's Mansion, probably my favourite video game of all time. I'm so excited to finally get started on this project and it'll premiere next Friday as always. So if that interests you or you're just interested in Marvel, Star Wars or Stranger Things, I have plenty of videos on this channel. So I'll see you next time and have a good day or night or evening. Bye.